Hello everyone, I am Raf, and in this video I'm going to show you how to point your domain from Wix to SiteGround. So first things first, just uh, smaller here. And we're going to make that in three simple steps. So the first step is going to Wix, look for the admin panel and uh, locate the domains section. Then we need to go to SiteGround and create a new site to get a new IP address. And then once we have all these created, we just need to get that IP address um, in, in inside the Wix account so we can make the, the redirection successful. So no more talking, we just uh, go to Wix, wix.com, so just sign in. And once you get here, uh, just enter your login credentials. So basically all you need to do is just look for this option at the top, which is the, what is your username? And just click there and look for the option domains. So once you are here on domains, you will see um, a bunch of domains if you have already um, many domains purchased, uh, like this one, for example, which uh, was purchased inside Wix. And in my case, I just need to look for the one that I want to uh, redirect outside of Wix and just click here on the um, manage DNS records. So once you're here, this is the value that we need to change or replace with the SiteGround IP address. So all we need to do is just go into SiteGround. So to this step, it's important that you have a SiteGround account. If you don't have any, so I'm going to leave you a link in the description so you can uh, uh, get one. And if you also don't know how to register, also I'm going to leave you a link in the description how to register in SiteGround as well in the cards so you will see it right here. So um, I have an account, so I'm going to log in here. Just put my credentials and once you're here, all you need to do is just look for the websites section at the top bar and click here where it says new website. So here um, we're going to select existing domain because we already have one from Wix. Just click to select and here where it says your domain, we just need to paste that domain. So in my case, I'm going to use this one here. Just control C to copy and go to our domain field and click just paste or control V and just click on continue. So wait a moment, you will see this warning and this is just basically saying that your domain is not inside SiteGround, which is nothing to worry about. Just click on continue. So once you're here, after hitting continue in the previous step, uh, you will have these options here. So in, in our case, we don't have a website to uh, migrate here and we don't want to create a website. Just We just need to create an empty site. And to do that, we just click here and uh, in this button where it says uh, create empty site and if for some reason it, it asks you to um, add some additional services you just um, don't include that don't check anything else just hit on end up and just wait until it creates your site usually it takes uh, no more than two minutes three minutes so uh, just wait all right, so once you're ready, you will see this interface. So this is basically saying that your site was already created and you will have access to your DNS settings and everything. So all you need to do is just click here on this uh, manage site button. And once you're here, it will take you to this uh, panel. So in my case, all we need to do is just look here on this section, um, uh, just scroll down and you will see that option right there with the IP address. Okay, so in this case, all you need to do is just have this IP address um, added in Wix. So for security reasons, I'm just uh, making this blurry. But all we need to do is just, uh, just copy this new IP address. And once you uh, have that copied, uh, all you need to do is just go to Wix. And then this one here, uh, all you need to do is just click here on Edit. And you will see this warning here, but no worries about that. Uh, just in case you don't want to lose anything. Um, if you're, you know, having another website pointing to uh, to this uh, record, all you need to do is just copy um, that IP address that you previously have there and save it in a, in a you know, place where you can recover it. But in this case, we don't need that anymore. So all we need to do is just click here and got it. And here we're going to replace this with our new um, IP address from SiteGround. So once you have your IP address, remember to remove any uh, commas and uh, that you may may have in, in in the in the IP address and replace that with dots or points and just leave the TTL value as default for 30 minutes and then hit on save. 
it will prompt you with this uh, message so in your case you just need to say save changes and it will uh, successfully save those changes saving this uh, or showing this uh, alert here so after this all you need to do is just wait it normally takes between um, two hours four hours to propagate uh, across the internet sometimes it takes like 10 minutes but it, it's going to depend in, in in terms of the hosting and location so in my case it it takes no more than um, no more than 30 minutes so uh, just let's wait and once you have this completed you are all good to go um, make sure that if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe and i will be helping you sending you more videos like this so thank you so much bye